Hey, Max. Uh, 37-year-old Max. I'm late by almost a few months. This letter idea to you and to our younger self was planned back to be um, made when I actually turned 27. Uh, but I was being really lazy, not just with this, but with a lot of things. I was losing focus on what I was doing. And yeah, and I'm hoping I'm doing better now. It's been almost a month since we've gone to the gym uh, I'm doing better I went well it was almost a month and then I went I went to the gym yesterday and the day before uh, I'm pretty excited like where we are now uh, I've never felt this way with the location of all the places we visited the places that we've lived at uh, coming here moving here and living here for the past three uh, weeks it feels right it feels like this is it and it feels good if i'm fortunate enough to live to 37 hopefully i've learned enough about myself and i've grown enough and evolved to the point where i can stop rebelling i don't know what i'm re rebelling against what am I afraid of? Uh, and I, I've asked that to myself um, many times, many times for years. And at first, obviously, the answer was unclear. But the more we ask that, the more an answer seems to be more specific and detailed. And like an answer appears in my head, but I'm afraid to say it out loud, especially on camera. Uh, not... I just don't have the courage to do it right now. What what's what's keeping me from making these connections with people? What every time I try to connect with the world and with people, I feel more alone. Like are people just not wanting or putting in the effort to know me or am I not letting them? Are people abandoning me when they get too close or am I detaching myself when I feel vulnerable? Why is it so difficult to find a genuine romantic relationship and why do I keep rejecting this idea of love that I have in my head? And these are just questions that, you know, I, that I want to continuously ask myself and to try to figure out the answers. And I'm only asking you because not only do you know what I've been through, but you know what I will experience. Uh, because asking questions, just asking questions wasn't the plan. Because uh, I, I feel that, I just feel that right now, this is a very important moment in my life. I feel like this moment in our life is very pivotal. And maybe I'm only saying that because I'm living in it, right? We feel like that moment in our life is the most important. I have faith that we'll find our way, we'll get to where we need to be and stick to something and figure things out. And that's all I can really rely on, I guess, is faith. Uh, I d I'm not sure how to transition this uh, to something I guess lighter. I'm just curious what we're, we're gonna do with our hair. Uh, not just up here, right, but like facial hair. Uh, like, do we continue shaving it once a week? Do we let it grow? What, 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 what are we doing with it? You know, I'm curious to see what, what I end up deciding to do with it, what we end up deciding to do with it. Uh, the hair, you know, it's pretty much what most people that are in the military or leave the military do, just let it go out at least for a little bit because um, you no longer have to really maintain it the same way. Uh, yeah, and I, uh, of course, as you know, um, going out, exploring the place now that we're here and we've always wanted to come here for almost a decade, maybe even a decade. And, you know, we've met uh, a few people, you know, been on a few dates and seeing what happens. Um, anyway, uh, until next time, uh, you take care.
and love you.